Uh, Josh Li- Lyman at Busta Limes says... Ooh. What a good handle. (laughs) Come on, give it up. Says, I've talked to some people who have been in the industry for years, and they say over time, you often outgrow this constant itch to keep pushing out designs. What are your thoughts on this craving for a creative outlet? It's even in, it's even more in demand with the popularity of Instagram slash Behance, but is it inherent in someone creative or is it more of a phase that gets tiring and less enjoyable as you grow essentially josh is like now that you guys are older and not students anymore are you still like passionate about design and creating these side projects and stuff um this is a really interesting question because i was thinking about this recently somebody that we're that we've been interested in bringing on the podcast is actually one of my first managers um at quirky julia troy um you may have seen she did a a skillshare through quirky on on Skillshare about sketching. She is a, an amazing designer. Wait, did Reed just post this recently? Reed just posted this okay. recently. Okay. Um, amazing designer. One of one of the best sketchers that I've ever seen. You know, um, and uh, I remember her saying to me at the end of a work day, she was like, or or maybe it was at the beginning of a work day. She was like, "Don't you like?" Isn't it like when you go home, don't you just like continue to think about design and mull over design? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, like me as a young impressionable designer, I was like, yeah, I, I do. My next job, I had a different manager and this same manager, I said that exact same thing to, And she said, when I go home, I don't think about design. And I don't know that there's necessarily a right or wrong to this, but it is something that's kind of um, either like those two things either encouraged or discouraged a certain type of mindset. It's that's and, yeah, that's interesting, James. And uh, I think that for some people, like there is an obsessive nature to design, and but it's very rewarding. And for other people. Design is something that they do for work, and maybe they need to recharge. Maybe mm-hmm. they need the time after work to, yeah, to just, like, explore different things or be interested in different things, and that's okay, too. Like... I... Yeah, I, I've i definitely met both si- both types of people. Like, there are designers out there, believe it or not, who... who go to work and design as their job and then they come home and they don't want to design anymore right me personally i i I think that's kind of crazy because i am the exact opposite like (laughs) i my my switch is broken like you know like you know like in those movies where the train like the cartoon like the train they like push it full force and the handle breaks off and they can't stop the train (laughs) that's me that's me with design right maybe i'll get to that point though one day where i am like burnt out and I don't want to design more. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I mean, I've been going strong for, for what, three years now? Yeah. I, I will say I do ebb and flow, certainly. I think everyone has their dips, their ups, where they're feeling like I'm rocking it. And then maybe there's those downs where you're like, ah, I, I'm just not feeling this design. I really don't really want, want to design right now. And I think that's okay. Right. I will say that for myself, I... I enjoy pursuing design outside of work, but it's like, it's a muscle that I have to exercise because I can get, I can switch it off. And when I switch it off, it's very hard to switch it back on like, no. <laughs> to get back to the, like the side project grind. Mm. It's, um, you know, it's just like anything, like if you're not doing it consistently. And I was talking to you about Mr. Doodle recently. Oh Yeah an Instagram handle, this guy is just obsessively doodling. He's always doodling. He, he's really pretty well known. He's done a ton of doodles for all the Silicon Valley startups. I know yeah. he like goes to Google and just doodles on a wall. Yeah, he's he's very prolific. And, and what I said to you was, I think that if he stops drawing, he might die. <laughs> but I think that there is something to the momentum. Like, I feel like... I have a sense, I have somewhat of a sense of where you are, and I feel like 
there's a momentum. Mm. There's a momentum that's been built up and like essentially you're just riding this snowball that yes. keeps keeps growing. I 100% agree and that is my exact feeling of especially the Instagram community I, when I you know when I started the Instagram and I started growing that following it turned into that snowball like that's the way I explained it was yeah. like you know, it was like something fun at first, and I mean, it still is fun. I just, <laughs> it was something fun, and now oh, I'm no, scared. Freudian slip. No, no, uh, it it was, you know, just this personal project at first, and then it grew into everyone being involved, and then it was like a much bigger of a responsibility. Like, how can I top this? Yeah, and I'm always trying to like up my game, which is great. I mean, it's good motivation. Yeah. No, I mean, Nick, you're a very impressive person. I'm not going to sit here and say <laughs> well, otherwise. James, you are great too. Shh. Don't even. But what what I'm saying here is like, I think that like if this, it sounds like this person is almost concerned about the waning uh, like creative drive. Yes, yeah. And what I am saying is, is that for some people, it's an inherent drive. And for others, it's a daily exercise routine and it's not wrong either way right because like like well and then there's a there's a third thing (laughs) there's well there's three things but there's also the people who leave design at the door like but i but this person seems to be like kind of concerned and so what i'm saying is that for myself i don't necessarily i have somewhat of an inherent inherent drive but I also need to exercise that in order to keep it going. Like, I, like it I, is, it is an exercise. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do too. Like, you know, when I was posting on Instagram every day, I haven't, I don't do that much anymore, but it is this thing that's like almost, it almost akin to running every day. It's like, yeah. Oh, I got to wake up early. I got to put my shoes on. Like I got to run. I actually get to put in that effort, you know, posting yeah. and creating that, momentum is effort right and uh you know they say that for for people who are trying to get into an exercise routine you should wear exercise clothes to bed that's a good idea if you want to get into a designing routine sleep with your pen and notebook. sleep with your pen and notebook <laughs> yeah well i mean that is people sometimes you know they have a notebook at their bedside table you know to draw things down yeah. or whatever write things down um it's it's an exercise and sure. uh, it's like a muscle and you have to exercise it for sure um that was a so great yeah. great question josh thanks for sending it in yeah